to the channel this is your girl Gina coming through with a haul and I don't know what else to call it but I'm putting the things that are in the haul in my space so I'm starting out with the pillows for the couch and I purchased these pillows from a store called roses out here in North Carolina and it's a discount furniture store store like uh, Big Lots or something like that. So I love this store. Uh, these boxes I got from TJ Maxx out here and they were it was $7.99 for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that on the table. And that table I want to spray paint it so that it's the mirror finish. I'm not sure if I want to do it yet. I want to kind of test it first. But anyway, those are the boxes and I'm just putting like my remote controls in there and things like that. And this is how it looks. So now we have the flowers and I just gave you a sample of what I did with them on that table. But we're going to go ahead and get that placed out on the table as well and I'll give you a snapshot of that. This is the base that I'm using to put the flowers in and it's just simple. I got this one from Dollar Tree. Those flowers came from Dollar Tree as well. And here's the look. We're going to go ahead and place these vases up here. These came from Roses as well. And I absolutely fell in love with them. They have different colors and they already come arranged in the vase for you. So all you have to do is place it. And here it is. So now I'm going to take these pumpkins that I found from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place those throughout the house and I thought they were so adorable. Look at them. Perfect for the fall season. So yeah, I just want to bring a touch of that into my space. And here we are placing them up and I'm going to rearrange them here and there and then I take that uh, silk that uh, orange color one and I end up placing that one somewhere else and this is the look and it was like that for a couple of weeks before I added something else to that fireplace And there is the addition that I added to the fireplace and I purchased that from Big Lots. So now we're going to go with the pictures. These came from the Roses store as well. So I'm just going to show you how I'm putting them up there. And of course I didn't use uh, measuring tape or anything like that. So I just kind of uh, eyeballed it and just got a feel of where it should go. And I'm just marking it with the mark uh, with the pencil and then going back and erase that mark off the wall. And here's the look. Okay, so now we're still working in the living room and these picture mirrors, I purchased those from the Roses store as well. And I believe they were, oh, I hate to say what they were and I'm really not sure, but they weren't very much. And here we are with the final look on those. So now we have these beautiful vases and I purchased two of those and I purchased these from Home Goods in Georgia. And 
they were, I'm going to show you here in just a second. Oh, I didn't see how much they were, but I'll post it up for you guys. But this is what it looks like. And those flowers that I took from Dollar Tree and put them in there. And I think it looks good. Now we're moving on to the kitchen. And we're going to start with putting these picture frames up here. And they're just inspirational quotes. Spiritual inspirational quotes. And of course I had to have that in my home. So that the spirit is always welcome here. And I'll show you guys what they say. And I thought they were so cute. So meaningful. And just things that should be applied to our life daily. So anyway, let's move on to the curtains for the kitchen area. And because my home is an open floor plan, this was my biggest challenge because the living room curtains didn't look right in the kitchen and I was trying to force that concept and I just had to finally realize that no, just break it apart and this is what I came up with. Those curtains came from Walmart. So now we're going to put a little decor on the walls, just a little bit, because my landlord doesn't like holes in the walls, so we're going to accommodate him and accommodate my craving for a decor. So we, we picked this sign up from, I think I got that one from TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken. Some of the clips I lost somehow got deleted and I apologize because I did show the prices and where I got them from in the original recording of this video. So we took that small base that I had before and I'm just kind of moving things around to see how I want them to be placed and if I want to use the plate or if I want to leave the rocks in the glass base. So we're going to go ahead and put the platter up on the wall and it looks really nice there. I'm glad I did go ahead and put it there. It brings all the colors together as well. And here we have it. And there's the vase. I just showed you guys where I put the flowers in that. So you'll see a repeat of that slow motion. Just a simple base, and that came from Dollar Tree as well. Here are the flowers. Those two came from the Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. And this is my spoon holder. I picked that up from the Home Goods store as well. I believe that was $7.99. Oh, $3.99. So we're just going to move everything around, wipe everything down, put the spoon holder, and I love keeping my pepper on the stove because it's like a season I use regularly. So just leave that on the stove. And then we have this flag as well and we need to know this e 
each and every day. So I'm just gonna put that right on the stove. And I was gonna leave it just with that, but it looks so plain. So what I did next is I took some of those flowers that I had and I broke them apart and just let it be as it may with the stems and it turned out to look very nice. Let me know what you guys think. Those are push pins that I'm putting right there just to hold it level for me. call it that but I think it looks cute um, that way and of course we're gonna put one on the other side of that plaque see I just pull them apart We're going to take these um, old lamps that I've had for a few years and put the new ones there. The ones that are very, very popular and I had to get those. I got them from Walmart for $24.99 and they look so elegant in that room so I'm happy that I chose those. And then we took this piece, it's like a stone crystal type of item. And I found that from TJ Maxx as well. And I'm just going to place that right on the nightstand. I put some nice pretty flowers in there. And this you saw on the other table. And that was picked up from TJ Maxx as well. It was $4.99. And then a clock, leave that in the room so I know what time it is, so I can hustle my butt out of work on time, or for work on time. <laughs> and just items that I picked up to do DIYs with. And it's just a board, a uh, round board. I picked that up from Michaels, I believe, along with the mirrored round plates and I believe I picked up the square ones as well. So I want to use that and put on that round wood piece. Not sure what we're going to do yet but I picked it up anyway. <laughs> this is 
beauty room items and I moved my beauty room and I'll show you that guys that once I get everything put together but I found these pieces in TJ Maxx as well does turn on its own. You can spin it. So it's $14.90. Now, these are items when I go back to Atlanta, if God allows me to do that. <laughs> so these are going to go into the guest bedroom, or bathroom, I'm sorry. And these items came from Walmart. I have one more piece to pick up to match that set and this is my favorite this came from TJ Maxx and when I saw it it called my name so loud and I stood at that table for I don't know how long before I said okay forget it I'm gonna get it and I'm glad I did let me know what you guys think and I hope you enjoyed the video I will see you on the next one, Fancy Beauties and Bowls, thank you so much for all the love and support that you show me. And I love you oh so much. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.